ramen. I think it's one of the greatest things in the world and it's also one of the hardest things to find where it's good. Um, being Japanese, it's, I feel like I have kind of a discerning palate with, with ramen, not to be like a jerk or an elitist about it, it's just something that I grew up on that my mom would always make. So here we are today in Dusseldorf on a day off and obviously all taking a taxi into town. Um, our guitar tech, Sebastian, is a Japan Japanophile, like really into everything Japanese, whether it's tattooing, food, culture. And it's been really cool to know someone like that because that's obviously, you know, part of my culture. So he said that he knew a place in Dusseldorf that was one of the best ramen places in the world. And one of his favorites called Takumi, or one of his favorites in Europe at least. So here we are, all queuing up, waiting for the line. Pretty stoked because this is something that, like I said, if I hear about ramen, I'm usually a little bit skeptical because it needs to be done right. It needs to be done. I feel in the traditional vein, and if they want to modernize it, that's fine, but it's gotta be, it's gotta be great. So after waiting about 20 or 30 minutes or so, which isn't too bad, because I've waited an hour and a half, two hour lines for ramen in random places around the world, we all decide to sit, we split up a little bit, so four of our dudes are sitting over there, and then five of us are at the counter. The place so far looks absolutely legit, and there was actually a moment where I was sitting and eating with Alex that I forgot we were in Germany. I heard someone speaking in German, and I was like, oh man, I thought we were in Japan. Um, all the chefs seem Japanese. Sebastian said that the noodles are done Sapporo style. Here we have onigiri. This is something my mom always made when I was a kid. So every time I see one of those on a menu, I have to get it. Because it reminds me of being a kid. I love it. Just a salty rice triangle with noni with fish inside. So here the ramen shows up. I decided to go for chashu ramen with miso broth. Miso broth is something that people don't always see, but it's something that I always get in Japan. And I've always been inspired by one of my good friends, Koji, in Japan to get the miso broth. Miso broth is just different. I, I, I really love it a lot. It's it's not like tonkotsu. It's something else. So here it is. One of the best ramens I've ever had in Europe. 